so then it will begin the loop so i would be equal to zero since i is equal to index you want to set the child zero which is capsule you want to set that to true so then so then you know it continues on since i is equal to zero that doesn't get called so then, then it will be i is equal to one so then that doesn't get called so it won't be set to true but since it's else it will be set to false so that would be deactivated and then number two would be deactivated and then there's only two uh, ch children so then it would stop getting called and that's it and so then right now only capsule B selected in the Cuban sphere won't be will be inactive capsule B active so then if you so then if you hit one it does the same thing hit two if you hit three if you hit three it does something oh, some funny stuff so index will be equal to z two so it starts off I equal zero doesn't get called so else it will be set to false so capsule will be set to false number zero and then it goes again one will be set to false but two will be set to true now to see this in action we'll just save that and then so we want to want to put this in the main camera because it calls the children of main camera so we want since that's whatever, whatever parent you have your thing in you want to put that script in so if you like Oh, we have an error. Yeah, right there. Another one right there. Alright, so now let's do this. And it freeze. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then, now let's just test it, see if it works. So, again, close that. So, hit play. So, yeah, see, so, it starts off, it sets it to 1. So, as you can see, like, capsule selected, since that's number 0. Cube and sphere aren't. So, I'm hitting 1. And so it's staying at this because this is what it was. You hit two, and it switches to the cube. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Whatever. Let's see. So then it switches to the cube. You hit three, and it switches to the ball. So you can like cycle through. Now this might have been really confusing. So if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. But yeah, and then in part two, I'll be showing you how to have them set up so you can only switch to it if you picked it up off the ground. So yeah, there you go.